Hi everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Today we have a challenge on the board. Without using the calculator, how do we simplify the cube root of 2 plus the square root of 5 all over 1 plus the square root of 5? Welcome, this is Online Mass TV, where we release mathematical challenges all the time. If you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. All right. So we put down our selection. Okay, the question is the cube root of your two plus the square root of five all over your one plus the square root of five. All right. So how do we simplify this? All we need to do is to eliminate this cube root sign. And how do we eliminate that? Is to take the cube of everything, both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so if we go by that, we're going to have this to be bracket, open the cube root of your two plus the square root of five, okay, or in bracket, all over one plus the square root of five. Okay, discovering everything. All right. Then we put our cube here. So we cannot distribute this cube among the quantity we have inside. So we can rewrite this as bracket your cube root, okay, cube root of your two plus the square root of five, root bracket, all to the power of three, all over, okay, bracket up in one, plus the square root of five, close bracket, all to the power of three. This is three, please. Okay, all to the power of three. So what happened here, this we go with this. Okay, so we are left with what? Two plus the square root of five. So let's continue here. So when I have this to be your two plus the square root, of five all over then the bottom we have one okay so this one plus the square root of five all to the power of three so all we need to do is to expand this using the binomial expansion okay now we are going to make use of the uh, pascal triangle okay so the coefficient of this entity here will give us your one then one one um, one, two, one, and here we have one, three, three, three. So this will be the coefficient to this expansion. So expanded is this will give us here the of two plus the square root of five, which is the denominator numerator rather, all over. This will give us one to the power of three, the plus, then the coefficient here is what? Three, the next one, so we have 3.1 to the power of 2 dot here means multiplication dot our square root of 5 we comes in then plus yeah the next coefficient is 3 again dot 1 dot the square root of 5 all to the power of 2 then the next one uh, the coefficient is 1 and so this one we leave the system 3 we also leave the system so we now have plus the square root of 5 all to the power of 3 okay so let's erase this off okay so we now have this now so we now have our 2 plus the square root of 5 all over okay so here we have 1 plus your 3 times root 5 will give us 3 root 5, okay, plus this square, we take care of the square root, so this, this will leave the system, we are left with 5, so 3 times 5 will give us 15 plus, now if we expand this, this will give us um, 5 root 5, so we have here 5 root 5. Okay, so let's continue again. We have here two plus the square root of five. 
So our denominator, we can add this one and this 15 together to give us 16 plus then 3 root 5 plus 5 root 5 will give us 8 root 5. Okay. Now look at this denominator. We can rationalize this denominator by finding the conjugate of this. Remember, if we have your A minus B, and we have to find the conjugate of this, the conjugate will be your A plus B. Okay? So if we have this as the conjugate of this, let's put this in bracket. If we have this as the conjugate of this, and this as the conjugate of this, what then will be the conjugate of our 16 plus h root 5? That will give us 16 minus h root 5. So let's multiply the numerator and denominator by that conjugate. So this now implies that your 2 plus root 5 in bracket times your 16 minus 8 root 5 plus bracket all over your 16 plus 8 root 5 in bracket times your 16 minus 8 root 5 close bracket from here we use r2 to multiply 16 so 2 times 16 this will give us 32 okay 32 there are 2 times your minus 8 root 5 this will give us minus 16 root 5 okay then we come to this other side so we have root 5 times 16 this will give us plus 16 root 5 then root 5 times minus 8 root 5 this will give us 8 times 5 so we have here yeah, plus sorry minus 8 times 5 your dot here is multiplication right so this is all over then we come to the denominator 16 times 16 that will give us um, um 256 so we have 2 5 6 16 times minus h root 5 that will give us 128 root 5 so we have minus 128 root 5 okay then your 8 root 5 times 16 will give us plus your uh, this plus please plus your 128 root 5 then we now have 8 root 5 times your minus 8 root 5 that will give us 64 times our 5 so have this to be minus, let's extend this, 64 times 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify. So here we have 32 minus this and this will leave the system. So 8 times 5 will give us 40. So we have 40 all over. And here we have minus 128 root 5 plus 128 root 5. Again, this and this will leave the system. So we're left with 2, 5, 6, minus 6 to 4 times 5. We give us um, 320. So we have 320. So if we go ahead to subtract this from this, this will give us a minus 8 all over. Uh, if we take this away from this, we have minus 64. So minus 64. This, this leaves the system. And 8 here will give us 1. 8 here will give us a 8. So this now implies that our answer is 1 all over 8. Okay. All right. Okay. So if you have learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. Okay. Thank you for always being there. Remember, Online Mass TV loves you because you are always there. Bye for now.